Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to take a trip back in time to 2019 and what you see playing in front of you, this is footage from the DOTS example, the data oriented technology stack called Megacity and it was about showing how you could build these epically large levels using Unity with the uh, soon to be released uh, DOTS or data oriented technology stack. Now this entire thing took a very long time to actually come to fruition, in fact uh, the last release, the 2022 LTS uh, came out just a week week ago is finally when DOTS is fully production ready. So now all the components of that, uh, the entity component system, the burst compiler, and the job system, they are all considered ready for production. So this demo of the future from 2019, well, it is now reality. So again, this is from a video I actually did uh, covering DOTS back in, uh, what was that, March of 2019. It took a while to get here, but this project is now available as a massive multiplayer example. So let's just jump on over there. We'll come back to the project itself in just a minute. Uh, a little bit of a warning. This thing can be a bit of a beast uh, in terms of size and opening. Uh, but here it is, loaded up inside of the Unity editor. Once you've got it all loaded in, uh, you're going to need to use 20, uh, 22 LTS, the newest version, one point, uh, sorry, point one F1. If you want to go ahead and check this one out, load it on up, and then what you want to do is run it. And if you're not going to be playing with the, the UGS or the Unity um, online services stuff, just check it out locally. So just do a connect, and you can run it local server. Uh, so you can run it uh, on your local network if you've got a couple of machines. I'm just going to show you single player, and here is the game environment. And this is the kind of thing you can expect from DOTS. So you're getting, you know, generally in the uh, the 50 to 60 frames per second, considering I'm recording this at the same time. Ooh, we dropped down to the 30s. So my video recording is definitely doing a number on it. Plus, they've applied a graphical effect, uh, like a blue filter that I really do not like. Uh, but... Other than that, this is kind of the realization of the whole Dots Promise, the Mega City from years and years and years ago. But this is an up to 64 player multiplayer example, so you can actually shoot. Now, interestingly enough, there is no audio uh, from the shooting. Uh, this just showed up on GitHub. Now, they did mention that this was going to be coming. I'm assuming that there's going to be an official announcement at some point in the near future. Uh, but I figured, hey, why wait? It's available. You can download it today if you wish. Uh, speaking of which, it is not uh, a trivial size. It's about a 16 gigabyte partition. You need to have uh, the GitHub LTF file system installed. Uh, by the way, the graphics, this is all on high settings. This is running on a 3070 Ti laptop, if you're wondering in terms of performance. Uh, take that with a grain of salt, though. Again, I'm running it in the editor, and I'm running video editing software at the same time. So um, it could probably run a little bit faster. When I was running this on its own, I was generally getting around 60 frames per second going on. So uh, the performance is fine, um, and the, the level has like literally millions of objects in it. That was the whole idea be behind the... Uh, uh, entity component system and the the job system in terms of making things multi multi uh, massively parallel uh, is the idea behind this. So this is the world. I do think it looks pretty sharp to be honest. Uh, and here we got a long view of everything that's available. It, it's it's a cool demo for sure. Uh, so uh, if you want, by the way, you can hit tab to bring up the options here. You've got settings. You do have uh, different resolutions you can run it at. You can bring down the shovel the the um, level of detail and so on. We can turn post-processing and volumetric fogs, reflections and motion blur off. Let's see if any of those things are what were annoying me. Yeah, okay, so here we've got a much different look. Uh, so now, yeah, that's with all the post-processing effects off. In all honesty, I think it looks better. So I think it's probably motion blur. I think motion blur is the effect that makes it look, well, blurry. Uh, and I think it looks way better with motion blur off, but I, I would love to hear your opinion on that subject. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Mega SETI example. You can navigate through the code here. There's you know a ton of prefabs to work from. Uh, the code is all structured into, um, again, it's using the new entity component layout. If you want to have a learning project for a large scale entity component system, or you want to learn about using the Unity uh, online services, UGS, uh, this is a place to start. So you'll notice here, we go back on over here. Uh, this write-up has uh, some more details about this example. Uh, licensing wise, what is this guy under? Uh, Unity Companion License. So uh, not a full open source license, one of those things to be aware of. So you can't just pull assets out of this, check out the license before you get into it. It has a bit of a rundown of what this guy is capable of. So it's using the entity component system here. Um, it's using 64 plus players per game session, serve authoritative gameplay, interpolation and leg compensation using netcode for entities. That's their new um, 
data-oriented technology stack version of uh, their netcode libraries. There's also uh, netcode for game objects available out there as well. It's using UGS, the Unity Gaming Services, this things like hosting, matchmaking, and voice chat, and so on. It's an HDRP project, and it works on both Windows and Mac. Uh, in terms of system requirements, again, you need to have the new LTS version of uh, Unity or later. Um, and pretty beefy hardware for the most part. So it's recommending, uh, well, actually not that beefy. You have 1650 uh, GeForce uh, or better. Uh, so it could take a very long time to download and open. Again, it's 16 to gigabytes being cloned down from GitHub. So not tiny by any means. Um, yeah, and the instructions for setting it all up are here. As long as you're connecting locally, it's pretty easy. Otherwise, you've got to use your uh, online services accounts to get the matchmaking and all that working. So again, just set it to connect locally if you want to check it out like I just did. Um, and then if you scroll to the very bottom of this page, you want to actually figure out how to work with things. This is probably the fine part that you're going to find most interesting because this is where the various different pieces are, like the, the main entry points in the code. Uh, so if you want to see how the player vehicle works via the job system, you can jump in there. Some of the UI handling down there, various different pieces here. So again, if you want to figure out how something is actually working, here it is, the various different jobs that are running this, and you can see how the code is structured. So this actually walks you through uh, kind of a guided tour of how a large scale dots project could work. Uh, and this is kind of lacking. So it's interesting this is out there. So you've got some tags here for basically for talking to the burst compiler. Now there is some confusion around burst compiler. I noticed that from my uh, 2022 uh, video about that release. Uh, burst compiler is basically like a custom version of the C sharp compiler. Uh, it's using a subset of the C sharp language and it is compiling it down to optimized um, .NET code. So that's basically what it is. It's basically an optimized version of C Sharp uh, that compiles down to .NET code. It's going to handle things so you don't have um, memory allocations when you don't want them to be there. There are some limitations of what you can do in terms of the C Sharp you use. So it's a subset of the C Sharp language. So do be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, this is using jobs, dots, burst compiler, uh, entity component system, and all that stuff uh, to make this project work. It's definitely an interesting one. Again, very large project uh, with a 16 gigabyte clone or something to that effect. Uh, have some patience and do make sure that you are using, uh, again, a more recent version of the Unity editor. In this case, I'm using 2022.3.1F1 to make this work. Uh, and yeah, that is it. So uh, 2019, the Mega City example was first demonstrated to us. And in uh, 2023, it is now reality. But it's a cool project. Again, a 64 plus player multiplayer example showcasing all of the bells and whistles of dots that we've been waiting all these many years for. So if you want to jump in and play around with it, it is now available. All the relevant links will be down below. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.